Hi, this is Amy from the Alti Store. A while ago, we did a video explaining what you can power with a 100 watt solar panel. There's quite a bit of math in it showing people how we got the answer for our location in Maine in the winter so they could figure it out for their own location. Well, as it turns out, some people don't like math. So, we're doing a math free, well, math light version for those who just want to answer the question what can I power with a 100 watt solar panel? don't care about how to get the answer for themselves. There are still some explanations in the video, so stick with me for a few minutes. You'll definitely get your answer. If you do want to know the how, check out the original video here. Spoiler alert! If you're here to see if you can power a portable heater or air conditioner with a 100 watt solar panel, the answer is yes, but only for a few minutes. Anything that makes heat or cold uses a lot of energy. So that means unless you have an ultra-efficient fridge designed to use with solar, that rules out powering your fridge too. We're doing other videos talking about how much solar you need for them, so check them out when they're available. The reason there was a lot of math involved in the other video is because the answer depends a lot on variables. Where are you? Near the equator or near the North or South Pole? When are you trying to power it? Winter or summer? So I'm going to answer this question with averages. The amount of energy that a solar panel can make varies wildly based on time and location. So I'm going to pick an average amount so you can get a general idea. It'll make more in the summer and less in the winter, but you'll get the gist. First, two definitions. Watts is the instantaneous power made or used. Watt hours is the accumulated amount of energy over time. A 60 watt light bulb running for two hours uses 120 watt hours. Now let's say a 100 watt solar panel can make 300 watt hours of energy a day. You'll most likely be storing that energy in a battery to use when you need it, not just when the sun is shining. If you want two days of battery storage, enough for a weekend camp, you'll have about a 1200 watt hour lead acid battery bank, or 12 volts 100 amp hours. Basically, 100 amp hour, 12 volt for every 100 watts of solar. If you have a lithium battery, you may be able to get away with almost half the capacity, depending on the battery model, because you can often discharge the battery to 80% with no negative effect. I have a list of common items that people often want to run off-grid with solar, and how many watts they tend to draw on average. The first column is the item name. The second column is the amount of instant power in watts that it uses. And the third is how many hours you may typically have the device on each day. Next we show the number of watt hours it needs to run that long. The last column shows how long it can run each day with the electricity generated from a 100 watt solar panel in one day. If the number is greater than 24 hours, that means you'll make more energy each day with a solar panel than it can use in a day so it can run even longer than a day. So if you're just trying to power one item from the list, there's no math involved. Just write down the watt hours you need. If you're powering multiple things from the list, add up all the watt hour totals for the day. Notice that an incandescent light bulb uses 10 times more power than an LED light. It is more affordable to replace your old light bulb than to buy more solar to power it. Likewise, if I wanted to run a refrigerator, the type of fridge makes a difference. Just a standard household fridge uses about 1,000 watt hours a day, so I'd need 400 watts of solar for that. But if I spend more money by getting an ultra-efficient fridge, like ones made specifically for running off-grid, I can easily run it on 100 watts of solar with power to spare. You can hit pause here to get a good look and write down your numbers. So. The next question is, how much energy can you make where you are? This first map shows how many watt hours you will have available to use on a winter day, depending on your location. Remember, that's the fourth column we showed, how much total energy used by your device. You can see why I can't just give you a simple answer of how much energy you'll make with a panel. Depending on where you are, you could have more energy available in Arizona than in Oregon in the winter. If you are looking to use solar in the winter, either for all year round or maybe a hunting or ski cabin, find your location on the map and match it with the color block in the bottom left. If you'll be using it just three seasons, spring through fall, 
We'll show you a different map in a minute. Keep in mind, if you are living off-grid year-round, you will likely have a generator to help out on some of the dreary, sunless days. If you're up in the light tan sections way up north and in the southern tip, sorry, solar in the winter probably isn't for you unless you have a generator. But if you live there in the winter, you probably know that already. However, perhaps wind may be an option for you. We'll discuss that in another video. Now, if you have a seasonal location that's only used spring through fall, you're in luck. Unless you're near the equator where it's pretty consistent all year, you should be getting more power those times of year than in the winter. This map shows the annual average watt hours a 100 watt solar panel can generate in a day. Because it is average, it will likely make more in the summer and less in the winter. So if you're using this only in the summer, plan on having a little bit more energy available. Again, write down the number of daily watt hours from the bar at the bottom that, that's available for you. Okay. Let's go over an example. Let's say I live in a place where I can make an average of 300 watt hours a day. And in my list of what I want to power, I added up LED lights, laptop, cell phone, and a router. That all added up to 277 watt hours. So that tells me I'll be fine with a 100 watt solar panel, as 277 watt hours is less than 300 watt hours. I'll be making that each day. If my list added up to more than 300 watt hours, I would just add more solar and batteries to make as much energy as I need. Getting back to that question of can I run a 1500 watt heater on solar? Let's figure for every hour it's on, it will use 1500 watt hours of energy. So, if I'm making 300 watt hours a day with 100 watts of solar, I'd need five times that, or 500 watts of solar to power that heater for running it for one hour. Need it heating for more than an hour? Multiply that 500 watts by the number of hours you want it on. Five hours would need 2,500 watts of solar and 2,500 amp hour of battery bank. Sorry, I had to slip a little bit of math in there. I hope this answers your question of what can I power with a 100 watt solar panel. We've also got videos on how to design an off-grid solar system from scratch. You can check those out and more on our channel. I'm Amy at the Alti Store. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and a share, and be sure to subscribe to our channel so that we'll send you notification when new videos come out. And don't forget to go to our website at altistore.com, where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.